Hey guys, what is up the new Cubist here? Welcome to episode 16. Wow, we're already on episode 16 of my Minecraft Falling Falling Survival Let's Play. So, this is a custom map. You, you probably, you guys know the drill. It's a custom map if you want to download it. Uh, links down in the description below. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to record it. I hear a whole lot of commotion coming from my mob spawner. Also, I'm realizing I don't even have a sword. Uh, so what I wanted to do this episode was somewhat start and maybe finish, or we already started the house, but maybe finish the house? I'm not really sure, we'll just have to see what happens. But I hear just so many things, I need to kill them, because they're starting to bug me. Hopefully it's a good bit of XP. Uh, someone suggested to me that I make a uh, that I make an enchantment table, and that's, that's the goal. The goal is to make an enchantment table, I just don't have, uh, I just don't have enough stuff yet to make it. There's all these noises. Okay, you know what? Parrots? I'm sorry. I think they're cute and stuff, but they imitate sounds of mobs that they're near. And I, I just can't have that. The kitties, they're fine. They just make cute little meows. Uh, chicken is also fine. I need to put up my inventory. My inventory is a little bit of a mess, so I'm going to sort that off camera real quick. Okay, my inventory is sorted. I'm going to grab a few things of steak here. Uh, someone also suggested to me that Neo, you should make bamboo into sticks and then smelt stuff. So I did not know that. I didn't know that was even really... I mean, I knew it was possible to make bamboo into sticks, but I didn't realize that was more efficient. So I'm definitely going to do the most efficient way. Um, this is definitely a good fuel for furnaces. So whoever suggested all the, the bamboo usage, thank you guys. It was a bunch of you. Not just one person, but we're working together as a team here. So I guess we're going to make sticks. Um, I wonder if they really are more efficient. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I want to trust you guys, but I, I just don't know personally. Um, so I guess we'll see if it works. I assume it will. Um, is there a lot of mobs up here? I'm not really sure. I kind of want to go build my house a little bit more. Okay, it's not a whole ton, but a good bit. Okay. I love this mob spawner. Just be I mean, there's just nowhere else for mobs to spawn, so things just go crazy. Uh, someone said that gold tools are probably a good idea. I mean, I don't really have that much of use for gold So seeing as how we have so much we might as well give it a good old college try and uh, see if we can't get uh, Some good progress done with gold tools. So I'll make like four Gold pickaxes which their durability is what I, I don't even know But I think they changed the texture for gold tools, which is interesting um, So we'll make a bunch of pickaxes. Okay, and then we'll make a bunch of shovels make four shovels and then we'll call it good we'll see if this helps so there's a gold overload here where is my wood chest okay and this is mob drops we're going to throw all that stuff up and then that's a drop from there i definitely need to make some more barrels and before i even get started i'm just going to make some barrels off the bat because i'm tired of i'm tired of all this uh i'm just tired of not having enough room to put anything so i think this is the pattern for them yeah okay so then we'll do another barrel. No, that makes it sideways. How do you put it right side up then? Do you have to be facing the way you're placing it? Yeah, okay. We'll put that one and then... No, I don't want it like that. You know what? It's just it's going to have to do. Just so that we have more inventory space because right now, the, the way it is, we don't really have that much room to throw things. So we'll just do it like that and then we'll put another barrel down. Nope, we'll put it right here. And you know what? We'll just stick some bread in it. Uh, so yeah, we'll go over here, <laughs> I guess, with all of our gold tools, and we'll see if this helps at all. Um, I, I have a feeling that like while they are quicker, they're going to go away so quickly that it's really not even going to be uh, very helpful. But I guess we'll go find out together. And it is becoming night, so... Um, oh, a bed. I was thinking, like, why don't I just put a bed down? I don't even have a bed crafted. So here. You guys are so smart. It's like, Neo, why don't you just make wool and then make a bed? To be honest with you, I don't know, but we're gonna make we're gonna make five beds, <laughs> just because you guys really, really want me to sleep. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put our five beds down. We're gonna put one, two, three, three, four, and five. So we now have five beds, and uh, you know what? We'll make them look a little bit fancy. So we'll put some wood right here. And we'll put some wood right here, and then uh, yeah, now we got five beds. <laughs> I don't think that's exactly what you guys were going for, but hey, we got five of them. Uh, one thing I did say I wanted to do was put some torches down in a spot. I need to sleep, first of all. We just get to pick a new bed each night. That's how rich we are, guys. Oh, I don't want to sleep in my fourth bed. Hmm, why not the third tonight? <laughs> Something like that, right? 
Uh, we got a bunch of glowstone, so we got like 64. Um, this means that we can finally not use all these torches on the ground. And also, we were going to decide on a name for the dog, but for some reason I never really officially said it. Um, it was the most upvoted name, and the, the, the dog's name is officially... Hold on. Hold on. The dog's name is officially Neo Jr. So, hello everyone. Welcome to Neo Jr. Hi, you good boy. He's a very good boy. But yeah, his name is going to be Neo Jr., I guess. I assume he's a boy. I really don't know. Uh, but we'll just call him Neo Jr. How about that? How about that? Okay, I'm trying to get all these torches down because I hate how they look on the ground. Like, believe me, I, I don't like it either, guys. I'm not one for making torches look all messy. Um, I think that's all the torches. Yeah, it definitely is because it's so freaking dark in here. Uh, there's torches up in here, so we'll fix that too. But yeah, gold is... You guys said it's faster than diamond, but it's... it's I mean, so yeah, it is really fast, and we do have a bunch of gold, so I figure, you know what, you guys are right. Why not just use gold? This nether portal, I hate the noises. That's one thing I want to go in and remove, is like nether portal noises, because they're so annoying. Okay, we'll put glowstone just like that. And then obviously, we're just going to put glowstone just up in the ceiling. There's not going to be any set rhyme or reason or pattern to it. It's just going gonna, to gonna kind of be where I want the glowstone to be. Um, except for on top, like right here. I want to have a row of glowstone, and then I want to take some trap doors. Uh, we have a bunch of acacia, so we'll just use... Th Where did we get all these tra acacia trap doors? Um, I don't know, but we'll just put the, the, the glowstone right there, and it should look pretty good. And then, obviously, we just need to put more glowstone just kind of randomly around the world, or around the house, I guess. And, uh, yeah. So this house, I plan on just kind of converting it to my, like, animal sanctuary slash... Uh, I guess we killed the parrot, so it's not much of a sanctuary. It's more of a, if I want you here, you stay. If you don't, I kill you. Uh, but Neo's Animal Selection Facility. That sounds terrible. Whatever whatever we're going to call it, we're just going to put animals in here kind of haphazardly. And uh, as we expand the house that we we're building currently, we will transform that into our primary house. Um, that's too close. We can't have them touching. I like that they're just random, but we can't have them too too closey closey here okay but yeah see this one's already almost gone and I mean it makes sense I guess but I don't know we're just gonna put glowstone in the floor see I don't mind having glowstone in the floor but like when you have glowstone like or er, torches just all over the floor they just start to look kind of trashy so I didn't want to have that going too much longer so I'm glad I stopped that um, I can put oh I can put glowstone in here Dope. okay and then maybe some glowstone over here too. Yeah, just something like this. Oh, that, that noise scared me and I don't know why. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this series so much. Each episode gets like close to 100,000 views. And uh, you have to understand that's not normal for me. Like before I started this series, my Let's Plays on normal survival got nowhere even close to that. So thank you guys for all the support on this. Or I, I don't know if it's support or just thank you for watching. I really don't know what to say, but either way, I'm very appreciative. So thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll put the wood up in here. And we have a few more plant-ish materials, some bamboo. We should probably put the gold back in the chest. We don't really need it right now. Put the raw beef up, and then we're going to go... I know I said in the beginning we're gonna, we kind of got distracted, but it's okay. We needed to do some other things. Uh, so we'll go up there and we'll just start mining it. We'll see if this is any faster. I really don't know if it will be. I mean, I know it's faster, but based on how quick the tools break, I don't know if it will actually help much, but I guess we'll find out together. Alrighty, approaching this little thing. I did change this off camera a little bit because it was a little messy and I wanted to make it look better. But yeah, I did miss the emerald there. But see, the thing is you can't even mine emerald. Like it just goes away. Why did I mine that? <laughs> Why did I like, I showed that. Yeah, okay. I see what you guys are saying. Did they make the durability this higher? No, I was looking at this one and I was like, wow, that's that's pretty good. But no, their durability is 32 blocks. So, I mean, it's faster, but like we're just going to burn through all of our gold. But we already made all this stuff, so we might as well just use it, obviously. Uh, but it's really not going to be a whole ton faster. I mean, it is faster, but you guys see what I'm saying? Like, we're just going to use all of our blocks and then uh, be in the same situation we were in with having slow tools, but we did get iron from the nether, thankfully. <laughs> it's actually really good that we got iron because, man, we're running so low on iron. We're running low on a lot of materials, so we need to go mine out a layer, but we are mining a bunch of stuff here now, to be fair. 
But yeah, I'm going to mine a bunch of this stuff off camera. Obviously, I mean, this is not something I really want to film too much of. Will I even get iron? Oh, man. I wasted iron. Dude, these pickaxes are crazy. They don't even mine iron. That's weird. Um, we do have an axe. So we'll go ahead and take that out. Uh, but yeah, thank you for whoever suggested to use these tools. I do understand what you're saying. Uh, but like in practice, I just don't feel like it's almost worth it to use the iron on them. But then again, like I don't really use iron for anything. So maybe it is. I don't know. I really don't. Did you guys see? Well, hello, pig. Where, where did you come from, big boy? Huh? Oh, you want to show me something? What do you want to show me? What are you going to show me? Anything? Is it? Is there something falling? Like Neo? Did Neo fall last episode, huh? Yeah, he fell a couple times, I know. Uh, but yeah, if you guys haven't checked out my Skygrid Let's Play, I'm actually doing a really cool new Let's Play. It's not replacing this or anything, I'm just kind of doing them simultaneously. Uh, but it's it's a it's a map called Skygrid, right? And so if you guys are a fan of this, you're probably a fan of Skygrid too, because Skygrid is equally as nuts as this. Uh, if not, even maybe a little bit crazier. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, this is pretty dang crazy, so I don't think uh, really there's much crazier. But yeah, you know what? When you have five of these, they don't break that often. So maybe I will make some more of these. Hmm. You guys are smart. I'll give you that. You give me good ideas. You really do. I don't know what I'd do without you. Probably just play this a lot slower and mine this a lot slower. But I'll have to go make a bunch of other tools anyways because these are going to break fairly soon. And uh, there's a lot to mine. Like, I mean, I have a good chunk of it mined, like pretty much half of it. But it's still going to take probably another hour of mining or so to get it done. And I'm fine. I got, you know, it's the weekend. My first week of college, my first week of my junior year at college is over. So I had some time to record. I've just recorded three episodes of Skygrid. And now I'm recording episode 16 of this. So pretty fun, pretty fun. But yeah, I'll mine a little bit off camera and then I'll come back and show you the progress after the gold tools are gone. Funny story though, I mean my tools are pretty much almost broken anyways. Um, when I first started playing Minecraft like nine years ago, I remember making gold tools and I was like, you know, that's, you know, that's the natural progression. You know, I had iron and then, you know, it's gold tools, right? So I, I made them and I was like, wow, these are really, really fast and they kept breaking. And I was so confused why I thought my game had a glitch and I kept looking it up on like Minecraft forums or Planet Minecraft forums, whatever forums were the big ones back then. And I like, kept asking people and they're like, they're like, dude, th those are like the worst tools in the game. And I could not accept that. I was so sad because, you know, gold in other games, you, know, you have like a gold, a gold digger or whatever, like whatever you want to call it, like a gold drill bit or something. I'm just trying to think of a game that has gold like progression. Uh, I don't even know what games have gold, but usually gold is something pretty good, right? But it makes sense, you know, since gold is a pretty soft metal in real life, that it wouldn't be that good at uh, mining a bunch of stuff. So I was just really confused and concerned. So I feel, I feel like I should share that story, because it was definitely really funny. Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, the gold tools, they work, but not very long. And now I don't, oh, I have an iron pick. Uh, they work, just not very long. But yeah, I have a bunch of materials now. Um, it looks like the gold pickaxes, I mean, it did definitely help, like, a good bit. So thank you to who, all the people who suggested that. I don't think it was just one person. It was definitely a bunch of you. Uh, but thank you guys for the suggestions, because I really do I, I really do read all the comments and suggestions. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'll miss something. I mean, it's just going to happen. Uh, but it really is nice of you guys to help me out, because sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing. And Pig, if you want to if you wanna live, yeah, you got to get out of there, dude. Okay, I can't fill it in with that. I'm trying to keep the shape of this hole like that. There we go. Okay, well, I'm going to dig out the rest of this off camera. I'm going to craft a bunch of new tools. And, uh, yeah, should be pretty fun. I'll probably craft a bunch of iron pickaxes. Let me just do that real quick. But yeah, I will get enchanting going soon, guys. Don't worry about that. That's definitely a goal in the near future. Just need to wait. I think I had sugarcane growing, didn't I? Where is it? Okay, so now we have, now we have two pieces grow in. Heck, yeah. And you know what I want to do, since we have a bunch of glowstone and no place to put it? We'll just put the glowstone right here. How about that, guys? A little glowstone underwater never hurt nobody. Okay, but yeah, let me make some iron pickaxes. Looks like we can make four, which should be more than enough, I believe. We'll see. I'm going to need so many. I'm going to make some shovels, too. Um, yeah, so I'll make three iron pickaxes. And I'll make two iron shovels. Actually, I'll make three iron shovels and three iron pickaxes. A fair balance, indeed. 
Okay, well when I come back, well I need to sleep before I do anything, uh, but when I come back, hopefully that entire thing will be dug out, we probably won't have any more pickaxes, which is, I think, I think that'll be okay. We already have so many pickaxes. I really hope I don't run out completely of them, but yeah, I'm gonna mine this all out and then I'll come back and hopefully you'll get to see the finished product. See you then. Guess who's back? Guess who completed the entire house? This guy. All right, well, <laughs> as you can see, we're downgraded to stone again. Um, granted, we still have a bunch of tools that are made of uh, that are made of the good stuff. I, I, don't worry, it's not like we're, we're running low on iron or anything. We got a ton of iron. There's still a ton of iron I wanted to mine in there with you guys on camera. Um, but yeah, that took, uh, I want to say like uh, yeah, about an hour or so. I mean, I didn't have to craft too many new tools or anything, but I'm super excited to show you guys uh, where we ended up. We have a ton of cobblestone now. We actually have a ton of panes already. Uh, what we're going to need to do is start making the actual house itself. Um, but yeah, we have a ton of good stuff. We got a bunch of new wood, a bunch of new stuff. We got the, I got this stuff smelting, obviously you guys saw that. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys what happened. I'm curious how many mobs are going to be in here. I really want to know. It's probably a pretty good bit, so we might as well kill them all. And see if we can't get some XP. Okay. But yeah, I also discovered a spawner, which is interesting. I wasn't sure what it was. They're like these weird zombie thingies. I don't really know what it is, but I'll meet you guys once I get up there. We're getting really, really close, though. Okay, we've made it up here. I'm staring at a stone wall. Debating what I should do with my life. I also added some slabs on the bottom sides and top sides of these, but here we go. Here's our house. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with the spawner since it's actually in our house. I think unfortunately we're going to have to break it, but I also finished the wood outline over here. So uh, we have this spawner here again. I'm not totally sure what exactly it is. It's like these weird desert zombie things. I guess that's what it is, a desert zombie. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to start doing was placing these glass panes. Now this is going to be, you know, pun intended, a huge pain. Like, I, I'm going to be completely honest, like this is going to take a long, long time. Um, but you know, it, it, it'll be worth it, right? It, it's, we're going to end up with a really cool looking house. Uh, but yeah, it is going to take quite a while to place all these, you know, just because, you know, I got connected textures too, so things look good. You know, you, you know, it, I'm excited to get this house going. I really genuinely am. Uh, but yeah, it's going to take a lot of glass. So I'm lucky, or we're lucky we got a lot of sand we were mining because now I'm going to be able to actually probably uh, finish the glass in this episode. But as you guys can see, we got beautiful connected textures from Optifine. Uh, but yeah, there's some iron and stuff I wanted to grab. Just a few blocks and stuff like that. Uh, there wasn't a whole ton of stuff you missed. Uh, we got some iron. We didn't get any more diamond, which is unfortunate. But I'm trying to see, is there any more? Yeah, there's one more piece of iron over here. I knew there was one more. I think there's maybe another. Come on. There's maybe another. Uh, but yeah, most of our tools went by the wayside. They're all kind of empty now anyways. Um, they all, all the iron tools we made were long gone. I made a bunch of stone too. I didn't want to keep wasting so many, um... Of, I don't even know what I was trying to say. I didn't want to waste any more iron, so I just decided, you know what, we're just going to use... Can you can you crouch off these? Okay, you can. I just wanted to be sure, because I, I really wasn't sure if you could shift, you know, and like hang over the side of a pane. But apparently your guy has amazing balance and can, can just kind of hang on the edge, I guess. Somehow. I'm not sure. I must have been a gymnast in a previous life or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this is going to take... A good bit it won't actually take as long as I thought it isn't as bad as I thought I thought it was gonna be like one of those situations where you just kind of want to kind of want to give up and die but you know what it's not that bad to place these and I think we're making too much glass but we don't really have another use for sand so it's not necessarily a bad thing that we'll have extra but we will definitely have a little bit of extra glass uh, which you know maybe well I guess there is two sides to this whole thing yeah, I don't want to just place panes the entire episode, but just to show you guys what I'm going to be doing between now and when I cut is just placing a bunch of panes, which is a pain, but it's kind of fun, you know? It's fun to make progress, I suppose. Uh, we got to figure out somewhat of an entrance to this uh, base. I'm not sure what to do for it exactly yet, but I want to do something unique, something fun, so we'll figure out something to do. Um, I think I'm just going to do... I mean, it won't even be that unique. I think what I'm gonna do is just put some doors like right uh, Like right here, and then we'll put some stairs right there um, 
But yeah, something like this. I know I just wasted some glass panes, but it'll be okay. They're not too expensive. And uh, do we have any more? No, we need two more for this side. Uh, but I think this will be the front, and then obviously that'll be the back. Now, someone's saying this will be perfect for three layers. Uh, I'm not really sure. I may want to mine out the inside. I'm not really sure. I kind of want to keep this this uh, circular shape, but at the same time, it really doesn't matter if we keep it. It's not going to be that big of a deal. But it's also nice because now that it's turning night, I can use my bed. Is there anything in there? Not really. I can use my bed, which is good because mobs won't spawn in there, but I also have torches in there, so I'm not too worried. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be placing a lot of pains. It's going to be a pain. I don't know how many times I can say that, but I'm going to try to say it as many times as I can just to annoy you guys. Um, let's make these into glass panes. That time wasn't intentional, I promise. How many stacks of Yeah, see, that's probably going to be more than enough. But, you know, again, we have extra glass. This could be worse. So I'm going to go back up there. I'm going to grab some oak stairs and uh, maybe some spruce doors. Do we have any spruce? I mean, we definitely have some spruce. Uh, do we have any stairs made of oak? No, but we can make a couple. We don't actually need that many, just like... No, actually, that's perfect. Just four. Oh, thank you, chicken. Just popped an egg right into my inventory. How nice of you. I really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you so much, chicken. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm f so glad we actually have a good house going. I mean, th this is a good house, don't get me wrong, but it's just like a box. I mean, we definitely conquered this layer of the falling, falling map, but it was time for something new, and I think this is a welcome change by everyone. And I'm still not sure what to do with the spawner, whether to remove it or not, but we'll figure that out. All right, we're at the top. We're at the top, the precipice of our world. We're going to put this here. We're going to put these upside down, and then we're going to put a door from the inside. Uh, good thing I have a little bit of extra oak. I definitely want to have a little area in front to walk because otherwise uh, we're going to end up falling. I already know it. So maybe a little bit of a platform. I know I said I didn't want to build too much in front, like, or off the world, but I really don't think that's too bad, right? I mean, it's I did build off the world, I guess, a little bit, but not by a whole lot. So I think I think you guys are okay with that, right? I hope so, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> we do need to finish it. I think there were, no? We already did finish it, didn't we? Yeah, so I'm not missing any pains on that side. Okay, good. Now to, hello, Enderman. You, okay, you know what? We're gonna kill you. No, you're probably gonna kill us, actually. We have leather armor, but can't get too cocky with leather armor. It doesn't really do much. Okay, this is, this is tricky. Okay, we can place these like this, right? But yeah, I'm gonna just do this off camera, finish this wall, and then I'll come back. Okay, well, we're pretty much done. I think I have like a few more. Did I miss any? Yeah, I did a couple right here. And there we go. So our house is now sectioned off from that nasty real world. Did I just upset you? Why are you not upset? Okay, you're very upset now. I can do this. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, you must have already been damaged because that was way too... Really? You're so loud, dude. I guess Endermen are just going to appear in here. I've decided like while I was doing this, there's no point in me keeping this because it's just going to be a nuisance. So honestly, I'm just going to break it. And I know it's painful to watch. I know. I know it is painful. But I don't really think we have a good use for it. So we're just going to break it. Um, what I want to do in here is I want to use stone bricks, I think, for the main floor. What I'm going to do and what I've decided to do um, is to dig out these blocks right here because we really don't need, like, a... Uh, I don't know, it's just too round, like, to really be that, okay, we can't do that, though. We can't do that, though. Um, I think we're just gonna break out all of these blocks, just, just, just these ones right here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and break out all these off camera, and then once I come back, we should have a bigger room, and, uh, it should be nice, because now we don't have to worry about all these creepy crawlies, you know, spawning on our head. That's ba mainly why I broke that, because if I'm gonna be in here doing a lot of work, I don't wanna die every two seconds. It's honestly not preferable. I don't think that's a a good thing. So yeah, let me break all these real quick. Well, I just started mining this and look at that. We got a diamond. So that's good. It's always, you know, I'll always welcome a diamond to the family. It's definitely not a bad thing in any way. I mean, I don't know how diamonds could be bad unless they are above lava or surrounded by creepers, in which case I don't want those diamonds because I'm going to lose them and I'm going to feel twice as sad. You guys, okay, let me tell you a story. It was a dark, cold, 
April night. Wait, April isn't cold. Well, I guess in Australia, April is cold. See, that that's one thing I'm confused about. I, I know that like the, the months are obviously offset because you're on, an, on another side of the, the whole earth, right? Um, so does that mean like the summer for America, like August, June, July, stuff like that, are those the cold months in Australia or are they, or is it always sort of, is it not very temperate there? I have no idea. And I'm, you know, I'm just an Oklahoma kid. I don't know anything about the rest of the world. I grew up in a small town. I didn't actually grow up in a small town. I grew up in a, a decent sized suburb, so not, not very small. Uh, but yeah, I live in Oklahoma, if you guys didn't know, but... Okay, Enderman, you gotta stop with that stuff. Just putting all these blocks everywhere, making my world look bad. I'm not a fan, so you gotta quit. But yeah, we have a little bit of, <laughs> just a wee bit extra pains here. Just, just a couple. And it sucks because I think they're all done, and that means all my coal is gone. And I wanted to do stone brick. Yeah, they're all done. Yeah, wow, we have a lot of, <laughs> we have a, a good bit of glass. So, obviously, I'm going to put a storage room in there and a bunch of stuff, but for now, we're just going to fill this with glass, which means we can take the glass from here, and we can throw it into here, and then there's a few other blocks, like, I, I don't know how after all this time, I still don't know where my rare chest is and stuff, but let me sort my inventory real quick. Last, but certainly not least, we have, bloop. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a cobblestone floor in there just because we have so much cobblestone. Uh, maybe a cobblestone granite pattern I'm not really sure I mean it really doesn't matter either way it will end up with something pretty cool um, I think it'd be best though if I use slabs just to maximize what we have but I'm not gonna make them all into slabs uh, I wanted to make this look somewhat unique you know since we've basically just done your your basic floor for the rest of the build um, we don't have any more iron we need to smelt it but we don't have really any coal do we no we have five charcoal so we'll use that even though it's not gonna take all that charcoal uh, but yeah, I'm going to wait for that to smelt, and then we're going to do a floor with a checkerboard pattern with the granite and the cobblestone. And I'd really like to have some iron tools, so that's what I'm doing there. And I'd like to be able to mine that diamond. We can make another diamond pick, but I think we should wait on that until we have an enchanting table up and running. Um, obviously, this stuff is growing, which is really nice. And there we go. Expansion, guys. We're going to get it really soon, I promise. Okay, that's all I was waiting for. That should be good. I mean, that's a bunch of iron, which I'm very happy about, but I don't want to go too crazy on the iron tools just because, you know, iron technically... Actually, you know what? I keep saying that resources on this map really aren't limited because of the fact that they spawn and fall at the top. So our block farm will be helpful later in the game, but it's going to take a long time with RNG to be getting the materials we want. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out, but I guess we'll sort of find out as we go. Um, that mob farm's going crazy in there, but I'm gonna have to break out all of the floor as far as the walls go I want to go with I think uh, some sort of wood not oak wood uh, I really don't know yet. I guess we'll sort of figure it out as we go, but yeah I need to break all of the materials on the oh see you know what? It's gonna be tricky because from the outside. It's gonna look kind of bad I'll have to go out there and fix it I may add a few slabs here and there, but we're gonna make it look good. I promise I just don't want those materials showing through um, well, you know what? We can't even really see them, so maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. I guess it just depends, but I need to go downstairs and sleep, so hold on, guys. Oh, wait. Before I do that, I was about to cut the camera. Here. Diamond. Yay! Okay, we have gravel. Cool. Okay, yeah. Let me go down there and sleep real quick. Okay, back up to the grind. Um, so, yeah. I was just going to remove all the, like, dirt and stuff, and then I'll go back in, remove all the hard materials, and then we can make the floor look good. All right, so I've dug out the entire floor here, which is pretty fun, I guess. A uh, bunch of stuff in my inventory now. Um, I realize that I can't do an exact checkerboard just because this isn't uh, an even number, but it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be placing these blocks in a checkerboard pattern like this. It's easy once you get it started because then you just have to alternate every other block placing them. And uh, I feel like checkerboard patterns, they're slept on, right? Because usually people just do a floor material as like one block. But I wanted to do something a little different, I guess. I mean, it's not that much different, but it's definitely better than just your standard floor. I wanted to do something kind of fun. Just because this build is going to be huge. We're definitely not going to finish it now because we're already at the end of the episode, uh, time-wise. But next episode, hopefully, we'll finish it when I don't have to dig out a giant area and feel like I want to... Because I kind of want to quit playing Minecraft just right now because... Well, I've been playing for, I don't know, like four hours or so or something like that. 
And uh, but yeah, let me know, guys, if you guys are enjoying that new series. It's um, the Sky Grid series. I don't know why I couldn't even think of it. Um, I have recorded. This is episode 16. I recorded three episodes of this, and then one of these. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, like, it's a 30-minute episode, so you'd think, oh, you just record 30 minutes, but no, like, for example, on this one, I had to mine for, like, an hour to dig out all this area, and, you know, I'm not complaining in any way, I'm just saying that, like, I just need to take a break, <laughs> I mean, anyone needs to take a break, I used to be able to play video games for, like, 10 hours straight, but the older I got, I don't know what happened, but I, like, can't do it anymore without myself feeling... I, when I'm live streaming, it's different because, you know, I get to talk to people all t all the time. And I usually have friends with me and stuff or my girlfriend, and it's nice. So live streaming I can do for a while, but then just, like, standard just playing, I don't know. It just kind of gets tiring somehow. I'm not really sure exactly why. But it's really nice that we have this house kind of complete. I mean, it's definitely more complete than it was, which is good. I just realized I could have been doing it like this the whole time. That would have been so much faster. Okay, see, but I did mess up. But yeah, thank you guys for watching episode 16. Be sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. I really did have a lot of fun making this house. Um, the one thing I was worried about is like on the underside. Oh, this floor looks really good. Um, but these are going to be the walls. And we'll have to do the whole ceiling and stuff. So it will take a good bit next episode, but it's going to be worth it. Um, you can like see the floor material like under, like right here is a good example. You can kind of see it. I mean, you can't really on the front, so it doesn't even really matter. But I might go... And uh, fix it, which is going to require me breaking a few blocks and then kind of, kind of ed edging out with some cobblestone or something. But yeah, thank you guys for watching episode 16. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.